Listen, I love squash. Um, I used to just eat zucchini and yellow squash, but I have ventured out now and I'm just trying all different types of squash. And over the years, I have fallen in love with spaghetti squash, um, butternut squash. And this one is an acorn squash. And I just put it in a pan of shallow water and I just let it bake um, on low until it's tender to the touch. And you'll know it's done when you press it in and you can feel it going in, but it bounces back out. And so I bake it for about maybe 30, 40 minutes on like 375. It depends on how your oven bakes. Um, and then once it's done, you cut it in half, pull the seed out, and then you eat the meat. Um, this is very filling and very low in calories. Um, and I like to season that with a little salt pepper, a um, little butter. Um, and if I'm eating a butternut squash, um, I might even put cinnamon on it because it tastes like a sweet potato to me. But the acorn squash, sometimes I stuff it. But I just like to eat this by itself. You know, I just, like I said, cut it, pull the seed out, season it, and then eat it. And it's a it's a very filling meal, low calorie. So this is your acorn, acorn squash. So I'm going to bake it, and I'll show it to you after it's done. All right, this is what it looks like after I cut it open. You can see the skin on it. Um, like I said earlier, if you press the skin and you can feel it press in. Um, and then... Of course, you haul the seeds out, and you can eat it just like this, or you can add salt and pepper, or um, you know, cinnamon, nutmeg, butter, whatever you want to put on it. You just eat it right out of the shell, or you can stuff it. Um, you can haul the, sh haul the meat out and mix it with something else, and then put it back in the shell. But I'm going to eat just like this. There you have it. God has created an amazing day. Great day just for us, and he's allowing us to manage it. So manage it well. Mm -hmm.